Hi, I'm Assemblywoman Janelle Heyer Spencer, representing both Staten Island and Brooklyn. And the story I'm about to tell you is the story of my father, Jerry Heyer, and his battle and my family's battle with cancer. When I was 13, my father, Jerry, was diagnosed with his first bout of cancer, and that was lung cancer. And interestingly to the story is that my father was a small business owner. He owned Heyer Draper Service in conjunction with my uncle. And Heyer Draper Service was the very heart and soul of our family. It provided the income, the food on our table, the braces on our teeth, and it put us through school. When my father got sick, my father lost the business. When he lost the business, he lost his health insurance. And that began for my mother, my sisters, and myself, a lifelong struggle with keeping my father alive and keeping our family together and doing it without health insurance. After the first bout of cancer, after he lost the business, my mother began a new part of her life, which was seeking employment solely so she could provide health insurance for the family. When my father received a clean bill of health the first time, we thought we were on the road to victory and to putting our family together again. My mother continued to work because in our world of health care, a pre-existing condition meant my father was almost precluded from any job that would provide health care in his future. From that point on, my mother continued to work so we could all be insured. My father had a second bout of cancer, almost seven, eight years later, another bout with lung cancer, another cancer spot under his arm, and had to go, undergo another series of surgeries. Again, surgeries that were hard pressed for my family to pay for. My mother took another job, not only to pay for the health insurance covering us, but to pay for those parts of surgery my father couldn't afford. Once again, my father, the fighter that he is, came through surgeries, chemotherapy, and radiation, and managed to live to breathe to fight another day. We lived healthy with him for another few years until the worst thing any family wants to hear, another bout, another recurrence of cancer, this time prostate cancer, and this time even more difficult for our family. My mother couldn't continue with another job couldn't continue to keep fighting to provide health care, and yet my father was experiencing even a more devastating form of cancer, which was inoperable prostate cancer. At this point, we needed treatment, some experimental treatment, some that even my mother's insurance couldn't provide. And so my family started a new struggle. How do we keep our family together, happy, and healthy when one member was battling what was essentially a terminal illness? I watched my mother slave every day, work hard every day, play by the rules, and ultimately end up fighting just to carry on, just to stay healthy, and just to stay happy. I'm sad to say that several years after that last bout with prostate cancer, we lost my father several months ago, and only now can I talk about it without crying, and talk about it from a public policy perspective, and that we've got to find a way both in the state of New York and across the country, that insurance is available for all who need it, whether it's a life-threatening illness, or whether it's just a simple illness, or whether it's just covering preventative care. I will not stop fighting, I will not stop believing, as my father did, that if you work hard and you play by the rules, you should be taken care of, you should be able to wake up every day knowing that you can be happy, that you can be healthy, and that you don't have to die in desperation. So my message is that I work hard as an assemblywoman and as a lawyer to ensure that in our country we will have some form of comprehensive health care. Thank you. This is the story of my family and the story of my father, Jerry Hyatt.